possibly in response to our freakish cries that somebody's drive is going to die. Last week, Rich the Recruiter wrote in. He said, when I've tried backup software, I had to decide if I wanted to backup folders, the whole computer, create a disk image, incremental backups, or overwrites. But I don't know which options to choose because I don't know what I'm going to want to do if a drive fails or if I need to reinstall Windows. Mm. Do I want to restore from a disk image? If so, how? Or restore files onto a clean install of Windows? Thanks. Rich the Recruiter. I'm not really sure what, a, what kind of recruiting he does, but it sounds like an recruiter. interesting job. Could, Could be. be a football recruiter. Yeah, so it all depends on how you want to handle your backup recovery, Rich, or more accurately, what you want to do after a catastrophic hard drive failure. If you want to be able to pick up right back up where you left off when you restore, you'll need to back up the entire Entire machine. Yes. Now, if you don't mind reinstalling Windows, service packs, updates from your applications, or better yet, if you create a disk image of your perfect install of Windows with all the updates of the service packs and your favorite applications installed right after you build your machine, then you can just back up your data files. In either case, whether you back up the whole machine or just your data, you'll probably want to do incremental backups. That means your data gets saved once, one big saving, and then only stuff that's changed or added gets backed up in the future. And, and you can basically step forward or step back through your backup. And before anybody raises their hand in the back, we are not going to discuss backup rotation schemes during today's class, especially involving multiple backup formats and or locations. Yeah. If you do backup or image the entire drive, you'll have more data to backup, which means it will take a lot more time to backup and restore. And you'll need an external drive as big or bigger than the drive on your system. Or a whole lot of DVDs. Yes, or a whole lot of DVDs. <laughs> uh, unless your hard drive is pretty empty. Like you can five gigabytes. Yeah. You can pretty much give up on backing it up on DVDs unless you have like a lot of time. Because then they go like beat fresh disc, old disc, write on it with a sharpie mm -hmm. if you don't have a laser scribe or something. Yeah. A good free uh, backup is uh, Paragon Backup and Recover Free Edition. It offers a full set of backup options, including scheduling, location, it does CD, DVD, network, external hard drive, and type. Um, it can also properly backup and restore the boot sector or boot partition of your hard drive. Which is good. Which is good. To restore, you'll first need to create a boot CD, DVD, or bootable USB thumb drive. This will contain the application that will restore a disk image or ISO of your hard drive from another drive, DVD, whatever. A disk image is important because if you want to use DVD backups, it's quicker for the app to generate a couple of disk ISO. Now, if you just want to back up your data, things are pretty straightforward. You can do simple backups of the files by copying to another archival drive or network drive or thumb drive or any of the multiple sources available on the internet for backing up data. Better yet, use a small free program like SyncToy or Kobe and Backup that will incrementally copy and backup files by only saving files that have been changed. It's the whole incremental mm -hmm. thing. It's a plus since it's only backing up files that have changed instead of recopying every file over again and overriding all your old data. And with Kobe and Backup, you can schedule regular backup times, and you actually can use compression. You can encrypt files to save space and give yourself some security in case your ex, your annoying older brother, your younger sister, the dog down the hallway gets into your stuff. In any case, whether you decide to back up your whole drive or just your data, make sure you schedule regular backups. Manually check them once in a while, and if you can, store a copy somewhere other than where the computer lives. That way, if somebody decides to clear out all your stuff, or if your house burns to the ground, or is swallowed followed by a giant what do they call those things? Fault. <laughs> fault. We have to worry about faults, fault lines. The hole opens up and eats your house. You, you, you can recover your data as long as it's at a house that's far away from your house. Yeah. yeah. So back up. <laughs> like I haven't yelled at you about that a million times. Someone actually wrote yeah. in to say that they, right before they watched the show, they had a big hard drive failure and they were like, ah! <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. Sorry about what can that. We do. We tell yeah. you this like every week, and, and people just don't listen. I gotta say, I like to create an image, a complete image of, of my system as soon as I've built it, and then I can basically save that and do incremental backups on everything else. Yes. I like that thought. Which is smart.